What's going on YouTube? I've had this package a couple days, but I don't open things until I'm ready to do the video because I want to show you my reaction of seeing what's in the box. It's, it's stupid and whatever is that may seem. I don't know. It's, it's what I like to do, but I'm not sure what's in this. It could be a number of different things. Let's go ahead and open it up and find out. <laughs> that, that was a, uh, that was a fail. Let's, uh, Let's, let's see. Okay, so it's some kind of uh, headphones or speaker or something. All right, so I was sent two of them. All right, so let's go ahead and open them up and see, you know, what they look like and stuff like that. So in here we've got a black one. It's got a little bit of a weight to it. And the nice thing is, I see two speakers. That's a big deal to me. That is a very big deal. I I think I have like one or two other Bluetooth speakers that has stereo. So on this side, you can see that you have a micro SD card. I still haven't been able to figure out what the SD card does or how to enable it and get it to work. With a micro SD card inserted and you turn the device on, it says Bluetooth mode. I do not know how to switch the modes. I've tried different combinations of pressing the buttons. The instructions included with the speaker were not in English. If I ever do solve this and figure out how to get the micro SD card working, I will update the description with instructions on how to listen to music off the SD card if that's what it's intended to be used for. Uh, they used to use TF, uh, Trans Flash or something like that. I don't know. I'm assuming you can play music through it. And it looks like in here, We've got a micro charging cable to charge it, which is nice because pretty much everybody has a phone that, you know, you plug this into the little wall out thing it comes with, and then you plug this into it to charge it. And then you have an auxiliary cable for a, a MP3 player or something that doesn't quite have Bluetooth. So then in here we have instructions, which don't appear to be in English. So I can figure it out. It's not hard. I've got a million and one of these auxiliary and Bluetooth or um, micro USB cables, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there. And let's open up this one. I think this is a different color one. So just to give you an idea that they have multiple different colors. Ooh, look at that. For you girls and guys out there that like pink. And I should also mention that they have some pretty good like uh, slip-resistant things on the bottom so they don't move very easy and it has a call button so like pit answer the call or hang up on the call and then volume up and down and then you also get the same thing in this one those micro usb and the uh you know 3.5 millimeter audio in and out so these are the two speakers right there i don't know why the color is looking so terrible like my hand not 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 this just the camera i don't know what's happening with my camera like it's just i don't know so let's go ahead and not turn the black one on bluetooth mode all right so it says it's in bluetooth mode let's go to our bluetooth settings here turn that on bluetooth waiting for pairing it's it speaks to it tells you what it's doing that's also a first as far as speakers that I've had like this before. So stereo speakers, it lights up. Oh, it's touch sensitive. You don't actually press them. Nice. And then on here, we press that and it pairs with it. It should say something here soon. The audio is going to be... Pairing successfully. The audio is going to be a little bit different because I'm using um, a microphone that's pointed towards my face and it's not towards the device. So it has a little headset icon, so that means that this has a microphone built into it. So we could press the little call button. I don't have service on this, and I have to go in here and open the <laughs> Google Meep, and I've got to find some devices that are in here more than once. It's so stupid how this works. Like this right here, my Note 3. Which one was the latest one? The 517. So every time you install a new ROM, it freaking does that. So stupid. So. Like 
All right, so we have volume controls on here to turn up and down. Oh, looks like it's actually skipping the tracks. And then you hold it for volume up and down. Yeah, so you hold it for volume down and you hold it for volume up or you just tap it to quickly skip to the next song. I am smoking on that gas. Like to be on Cinemax movie. All right, for those of you that are curious, hopefully this is considered fair use when you just demo a song for a few seconds to show off the loudness of the speakers so we're gonna play this song for just a few seconds but not very much man i thought it was legal to beat your show blowing up the phone don't you see me calling up i whip up in the dry when she didn't pack up all my stuff and i'm like what the food is we feel like stalking on. We supposed to be in love. We supposed to be in love. We supposed to be in love. Tell it ain't no breaking up. We supposed to be in love. In a way that we can talk about it. So this got the speaker. It's pretty loud. It's pretty cool. I thought these were just vents at first. But actually, it's a subwoofer. From the brief time that I've played it, it sounds really, really good. I am impressed with the speakers. The drivers look like they're maybe an inch or two, so they're not small by any means. It's going to be a little bit hard to show you, but yeah, it's the best I can do. Some pretty good sized drivers. The bass on it sounded pretty good. I don't have any complaints. I like the non-slip pads at the bottom so you don't have to worry about it sliding around and it actually holds it in there really good being able to manage the phone calls let's all hold this down and see what that does i don't have service on this phone i took my sim card out and put it in my htc 1m8 but there you go that's how you do it you just hold down the call button and it'll bring up your dialer links to purchase these on amazon will be in the description below these are not expensive, and they have a variety of different colors to choose from. So we'll turn this on, and that's com that completely different, like the lights on it. Like you'll see this one right here. So this button right here will play your music if you just tap it. And then pause it if you tap it again. So it's completely different on this one. You still get little blue lights, but it's just, as you can clearly tell right there, it's this one's all lit up and looks real nice, and this one just has little light, little blue tiny LEDs on each one. So these are not very expensive at all. In fact, I think they're about $20 on Amazon. There will be a link in the description, as I said earlier. You might have to click the text show more in the description to expand the description and see all the links. It should be one of the first couple links that you see. It's been a couple days or so since I did this video. I've got to say, these have easily become my favorite speakers, or at least one of them. For the price of just $20, for having dual stereo audio, plus a little subwoofer on the bottom that actually moves quite a bit when there's bass, I'm actually very impressed. And this is definitely a speaker that you should check out and consider getting for yourself. Thank you for watching my unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and get to the end of the video now. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay up to date on latest videos I'm working on, if you want to know what's going on, behind the scenes, and just updates in general. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.